All right, let me give you why I don't really fear about the end and all that. Because I read my Bible. I understand what's going to happen. And I'm going to stick with morals. You know, everybody says you're going to take sides. Yeah, I'm going to take sides. I'm going to take morals and, and Bible. And I know a lot of good country folks. I know a lot of good city folks. So I don't pick and choose like that. I know a lot of, look, all colors and everything, man. They stick together and, and people want morals and they want the Constitution and they want their country and they want their Bible. They want their kids raised up right. They want to do right. Let me show you. Uh, Revelation 19, 11. And I saw heaven opened and behold a white horse and he sat upon him. Listen. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he, listen, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of wrath and the wrath of God Almighty, of Almighty God. We know who this is. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image, these both were cast into the lake of fire, of burning, it's burning with brimstone. Remember that, burning with brimstone, that's lava, I still say it's lava. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. That's why I don't worry. It says what's going to happen. God's going to gather them together. It's a place called Armageddon. It's not a time, folks. It's a place. God's going to gather everybody together, and you're going to destroy yourself, basically. So you're either for the morals or you're not. If you want to live in filth, that's what it says. And you get, into, you get into the end of 22. It says, you know, if you want to be he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, you be anything you want to be. God, you got choice, okay? But as for me and a lot of the folks I know, they're going to stand on morals. They're going to stand on the right thing. And remember that, and there's a lot of them out there. Remember that. God bless.